Today, we're gonna to be comparing some choke tubes. Now, last season, I was shooting three inch two shot black clouds at ducks. I was shooting three inch double Bs at geese. And so we're gonna be testing out the two shot in four different choke tubes. Now, I've got two choke tubes, oh, bumblebees. I've got, whoa, there's a lot of bumblebees in this barn. I've got two chokes that came with my Winchester. One's a full, one's a modified. We'll shoot those two first. And then I've got the Kix High Flyer, which you've seen me pattern test in the past with some different loads. And that choke tube does pretty well. And then last season, I started shooting this Carlson's Black Cloud choke tube. And I got this because in one of the previous patterning videos, people were commenting saying that I can't shoot the Black Cloud loads through a ported choke tube, which that's false. The old ones you couldn't, but they did some reworking on the flight stopper or flight control wad, and now you can shoot it through any choke. But nonetheless, I have a black cloud choke tube made by Carlson's. So we're gonna test all four of these choke tubes, shoot it at 30 yards, that's a good distance to kind of meet in the middle between 20 and 40, where you're generally shooting ducks. So we're gonna see how it all patterns out. I'm kind of curious to see how all of these loads do in these choke tubes. If you guys are interested in helping support the channel, I've got this hat and this shirt and all kinds of other gear on my website. There's a link for it in the description. Head over there, pick up a hat, a hoodie, a shirt, whatever, you name it, and help support the channel and look cool while you're at it. So I really appreciate you guys placing your orders and helping support the channel. But let's go test these choke tubes. First one we're gonna shoot is the full choke. Let's see how it patterns out. That felt pretty solid. It's always exciting coming to see how things look when you pattern a gun. Because where you're standing, you can't really see the pellet holes. But that looks like it patterned out pretty good. It's, I mean, 30 yards with a full choke, it's kind of what I expected. Here's how she looks. I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. Not too shabby. We'll count up the pellets at the end of the video. But on to the next one, modified choke from the Winchester. Now, I'm sure most of you guys know this, but the reason why I'm wanting to check to see how things pattern is so then I know how many pellets are on target when I'm shooting at a bird. Uh, it, it's good to know, so you know like the right load to be shooting to where you have a good percentage of pellets on target and have a good density to where you're hitting the bird. But a common misconception is that in your shotgun, you wanna have the tightest choke you could possibly have to not have any cripples. And you know, to some extent that's true, but you really wanna use a shotgun because it scatters pellets. So it's easier to hit a moving target. So I like to shoot a modified all the time. So then I'm, I've got a good pattern density at 20 and 30 and 40 yards. And I'm able to make those clean kills, but it's all personal preference on what you like. I personally like having a little bit more spread in my pattern, so then if I'm off a little bit with my shooting, it's a little bit more forgiving. Let's go test this modified out that came with the Winchester. Okay, modified choke here. We'll give her a go. Yeah, a little dust came out of that one. I just found all these things around the farm to shoot. It's planting season, so we had a lot of pallets and stuff, and they put like a little piece of paper down below the pallet and uh, makes great target practice if you're trying to pattern guns. So 30 inch circle by the way, if you were curious, we had definitely a little bit more spread on this, but it still looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys can see all those little holes in the circle. Not bad. Now this is when things should start to get interesting because we've got the Kix High Flyer choke. This choke is like 60, 70 bucks and we'll have to see how it patterns. Now one thing you can't see on paper is the shot string. So whenever you shoot your shell, pellets come out of the gun and there's a string of them. So it's not all like just one wad going there. It's the wad holds, the pellets come out and then they're in a string pattern. On paper, you can't see that, but this just kind of gives us a good idea of what things look like. So 30 yards here, kicks high fire choke, black cloud loads. 
Let's see what this choke's all about. So that Kicks High Flyer is a modified choke. And uh, here's what we got. Not bad. Up next, the Carlson's choke. That's the one. I'm really curious to see if this is the deadliest combo. But we'll know soon. Okie dokie, last one. Something to note is that there's always a possibility of human error, and these are all the pieces of cardboard I could find, so I can't keep testing because that's all we got. So that looks pretty good. Not bad. Now looking at the results, I'm kind of surprised. So here's the pellet count from each choke tube. The Winchester full choke, it had 132 pellets in that 30 inch circle. The Winchester modified had 128 pellets. The Kix High Flyer modified had 129 pellets. And the Carlson's Black Cloud had 125. Those are very close numbers. Now, I don't know the exact number of pellets in a shell. I could cut one open real quick, but I don't have a knife, so I guess I can't. Um, I, I think the results are, you know, take it or leave it how it is. I expected the full choke to have more pellets because it is a full choke. But people say that a modified steel shot choke tube patterns like a regular full choke tube patterns. And... I think the full choke was definitely a little bit tighter than all of the other modified chokes that I used. I'd say these results are a little bit inconclusive. I would shoot any of these chokes with that pattern at 30 yards. Now as for which one I feel patterned the best, I'm going to just go ahead and exclude the full choke. I personally want a little bit more spread than that full choke had. So the kicks had a really good tight pattern right in the middle and um, the uh, the Winchester Modified had a good spread all around. Like there weren't too many gaps and any duck inside that circle would have been hit and killed or at least knocked down and maybe got a wing shot or something. You, you can't fully eliminate cripples from duck hunting. As much as we want to, it's, it's pretty difficult because you know, you could miss and have like one or two BBs hit a wing. Like it just happens. And the Carlson's choke, it had a pretty decent tight pattern right in the middle where you're aiming. So from what I can tell, I really like the pattern that came with the Carlson's personally because it's got a good density in the middle, but any of these chokes are a good option. But I'd say between the kicks and the Carlson's, I'd say that just from this pattern test, the, the Carlson's had a little bit more of an even pattern now, when it comes down to the shot string, there's really no way of knowing. But, like I said, these results are pretty inconclusive. All of these chokes seem to do the same job, pretty much. There was a variation of, what, like, seven pellets between the modified and the full. And granted, we were shooting at 30 yards, but even then, that's a good, good pattern to have. So, go ahead and drop down in the comments which of these chokes you would choose based on the patterns that you saw on the papers. Leave me a like, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. You can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. And also be sure to follow the Flyways Collective. We've got a YouTube, we've got an Instagram, and we've got a Facebook, so follow us on there as well. But that is all I've got for today's video. I'm kind of bummed that there wasn't one choke that just was horrible and one choke that was excellent, but that's kind of how it goes. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>